everybody and welcome back to the channel. So what I want to talk about today is taken from Matthew and there's actually two sections to what I want to talk about. The first one that I want to read out to you is from Matthew and it's in chapter 6 and I want to read from, chap from verses 27 to verses 34. Mostly what I want to highlight on is, is verses 27 to 33. And then we're going to skip back to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. So taking it from the first part, which is Matthew chapter 6 and starting at verse 27. And I'm reading from my trusty old message version again. And it says this. Has anyone by fussing in front of the mirror ever gotten taller by so much as an inch? All this time and money wasted on fashion. Do you think it makes that much difference? Instead of looking at the fashions, walk out into the fields and look at the wild flowers. They never primp or shop, but have you ever seen color and design quite like it? The 10 best dressed men and women in the country look shabby alongside them. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wild flowers, most of which are never even seen, do you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you and do his best for you? What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting, so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how he works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. That last verse is actually going to be an entire separate video because there is so much I can say on that. But in the meantime, we're going to turn back to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5, which says, You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more and no less. That's the moment that you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So looking at these verses, the first ones that I read out, it's basically talking about, you know, why, why are we fussing so much about our appearances? How can we spend so much time focused on these things, worried about these things, and um, basically putting so much time and energy into how we look and how we dress and all of these different aspects. And I will be the first one to admit, I am a girly girl. I love getting my nails done. I love getting my hair done. I love wearing makeup. I just think it's fun. And I like dressing up sometimes. That, that's just, that's okay. And that's so much fun. And that's part of being, you know, a girl and even guys love doing like wearing a nice suit or getting their hair gelled back. I don't think that's what this is talking about. When I put on my makeup, I enjoy that. I like how it looks. I like to experiment and try different things, but I still feel like the same person when I take it off. Do you? Do you feel like the same person when you're covered in your makeup? when you have your hair done, when you're wearing awesome clothes, do you feel like the same person that you are when you look back in the mirror and you have no makeup on your face, you just woke up? Because let me tell you, if Beyonce woke up like that, she's probably about the only one because I definitely don't look like that when I wake up. And I'm okay with that. I think that's a part of life. We, we don't, I don't feel like I need to be on all of the time. But I feel like so many people do. When I was younger, I think this was a big thing for me to go to school. And if I wasn't, if I didn't like the way my makeup looked, or if my hair didn't look the greatest, it like literally day ruined. And I hated that. I hated that I was putting so much concern in how I looked and putting so much worth and self worth into that. It didn't change the person that I was. And it didn't make me any less of a person because I didn't have my makeup done good or because maybe I wasn't wearing uh, expensive clothing or something. But I did. I, I really took heart to that stuff. And it really, 
you know, it gets to you after a while. I think what these verses are trying to do is to get us to understand that God has made every single one of us beautiful. He's made us a certain way and he doesn't want us to be dreadful of that. He doesn't want us to be upset with how we're made and how we look and a lot of people are are like that and a lot of people struggle with um, self-esteem issues and self-worth and maybe they don't feel as important as other people and this is an issue this is a big deal everybody is beautiful in their own way everybody is important and meaningful and everybody has a story to tell this verse says if God gives so much attention to the wildflowers don't you think he's given you just as much attention if not more yes he has and Makeup is a beautiful tool and it's so much fun to play around with, but it's not a good tool if we're hiding with it. You have to be able to look in the mirror when there's nothing on your face and say that you're beautiful and be able to really believe that. And God wants you to believe that. He wants you to really feel that, that you're special and you're the same person with or without the makeup and with or without the curls in your hair and the nice clothes. This verse literally tells us to relax. It wants us to relax in our own skin. Don't worry about impressing people. Don't worry about what everybody else is looking like, what everybody else is doing. Be yourself and if that means that you want to put on your mascara and your lip gloss and your high heel shoes, do it. That's fine, but don't do these things because you feel you have to. Don't be putting so much effort into putting these things on when you're not even enjoying it, but you feel like you have to. You don't have to. There's nobody that you have to impress other than God and yourself. Another part of this is that sometimes we're so preoccupied with getting and with, you know, trying to have the best, look the best, fit in with the best, that we're not focused on God's giving. And sometimes when we spend less time focused on this, we get more time to focus in on this. And I think that's another thing that this, um, passage of scripture is trying to get us to understand. Do you spend more time reading the Bible, doing devotions, going to church, or do you spend more time like doing your hair and things like this? And I'm definitely guilty of this sometimes too, for sure. But it really is an eye opener to us because I'm sure we all do that. God loves us and he wants us to be able to love ourselves. And part of that is being okay with who we are and being accepting of who we are. Do you accept yourself for who you are? Are you happy and comfortable in your own skin? The second part that I read was taken from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5 and that is that you're blessed when you're content with just who you are. No more, no less. I think that's what God really wants us to take from this, that He's made us a certain way he loves how we are. He wants us to love who we are. We will feel complete contentment and relaxation when we are okay with who we are and accepting of who we are. And that needs to start in our soul and then it needs to work our way outward. We have to be okay with ourselves spiritually and we have to make sure that there's nothing going on in our, in our souls that we know is wrong. And we have to ask forgiveness for the things that we know we're doing that are wrong. That's the first part. And I think the second part of that is that we have to be okay with who we are on the outside as well. We have to accept the fact that this is, God made me this way for a reason and love yourself. You don't have to wear the best clothes. You don't have to look the best. You're just as good as everybody else. And 
we need to be able to really grasp onto that and really allow ourselves to be completely content with how God has made us and how we are. And then the second part of that says that that's the moment that you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. We can buy makeup, but we can't buy contentment with who we are. We have to work on that and we, that has to start from within and it's a journey. You know, you're, you don't just wake up one day and say, man, I, I feel awesome about how I am. You, you know, This is something that's continually changing, like we're always changing and we have to go through these things and be willing to work on ourselves and be willing to continue to try and grow better and be more comfortable with ourselves. So love yourself. Be content with yourself and allow yourself to continue to grow every day and just go along with the journey. God loves how you look. God loves who you are. That's what's most important and we can continue to work on it every day. So start today. Think about things that maybe you want to change in the inside and then maybe work on looking in the mirror, telling yourself you're beautiful and start to believe that every single day. Thanks, and I'll see you back next time.